guys, welcome back to another episode, and today I'll be talking about Marvel Studios' She-Hulk, Disney Plus's latest Marvel endeavor. Now, is it worth watching? Yes, in my opinion it is. I've been waiting for this character to be portrayed in a cinematic way for years, you know, since I was a kid and I had her trading cards and the comic books, seen her in the cartoons, and I think now that we have the MCU and uh, CGI is, is looking the best it can uh that right now the best ever really that is the perfect time to bring her out now first episode the cgi was very believable i know a lot of people had a lot of gripes and stuff when they saw the trailer and stuff like that and they, they didn't think the cgi was very uh, believable it was very cartoony but i think that it just looked crazy it looked just so real the way that she hulk was portrayed and looked a lot like the original actress Tatiana Maslany, but also looks like a, a completely different person. You know, I mean, I saw the resemblance and stuff, but they really did make She-Hulk uh, pop out with uh, the amazing uh, CGI. So I know Marvel CGI people have been getting a lot of crap lately by you know the Marvel groups and stuff like that for not keeping up with the demand and stuff, but. You guys really did an amazing job, and if there's any reason whatsoever you're watching this video, just know that the, the Marvel fans that grew up with this stuff do appreciate y'all bringing this adventurous uh, medium in a believable way to our homes. So, thank you. Now, my other, let's see, thoughts on the show was that it was great to see uh, Bruce Banner Come back for a very small uh, uh, little cameo in the beginning of the episode and then we see Professor Hulk pretty much for the rest of the episode and um, it's just it brought back that really cool vibe from Avengers Endgame to see one of the original Avengers back uh, in, back in action and stuff so I, I mean hopefully we see more really cool stuff in this uh, season. I think it's just going to be six episodes, but I can't wait to see what else that they're going to bring our way. Guys, watch out. The spoilers are here. So we're going to discuss a few Easter eggs and some just cool scenes that I saw in the series. So we'll start out with uh, Titania, iconic villain for She-Hulk. She makes her appearance at the end of the show. So hopefully we'll see more of her throughout the series. A really cool fight in Mexico between Smart Hulk and She-Hulk. The CGI was done very well. A very good turn of the episode. So She-Hulk is wearing this I Love Mexico shirt. Uh, could be reminiscent of her I Love LA shirt from the sensational She-Hulk. Of course, Bruce Banner and Tony Stark, their initials are carved into Bruce's bar. And Bruce goes on to tell Jennifer that uh, he mostly built it while Tony Stark drank and talked about how much he didn't like Steve Rogers, Captain America. And then here you see Jennifer Walters uh, t checking out uh, one of Iron Man's helmets. From what movie? I don't really know what, which one that's from. Of course, my wife spotted this. Uh cool QR code on the wall so this is when Jennifer uh, just got out of her uh, the spaceship uh, collision and um, if you actually if you scan it you are taken to a website a She-Hulk website for Marvel where you can read the first free issue which we'll check out that first issue in just a little while and here you can get like 99 cents uh get your marvel uh unlimited subscription started with the promo code she hulk of course i think this is now uh expired but pretty cool anyway right of course you got the spaceship from sakar from thor ragnarok that started the whole thing in the first place so we'll get to the bottom of that probably throughout the season here she breaks the fourth wall just like her comic counterpart. Here her comic counterpart is making fun of one of the villains in Sensational She-Hulk. Right here I got this from a Marvel group. So 
Uh, Bruce is telling Jennifer that Cap lost his virginity to a girl in 1943, and Marvel fans are saying that this is now Quill's grandmother because the same actress played Quill's mother in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Here is the first cover. Uh, the She-Hulk. And I think that's all of them here. So let's get to reading. And here we are, guys. The Savage She-Hulk, number one. The cover's got She-Hulk along with Jennifer Walters and the townspeople in the back cowering in fear. Always nice. The story begins with Bruce Banner on the run. He goes to confide in his uh, cousin, Jennifer Walters, concerning the law and his uh, how he became uh, the Incredible Hulk. He goes on to tell her, tell her the origin and how his colleague betrayed him during a gamma radiation experiment. This teenager got in the way and he became the Hulk that we all know and love. So Jennifer's got some problems of her own, it seems, uh, as they get on to talking that seems that uh, she was protecting one criminal from another and now they're seeking to basically rub her out so they try to get her out of the way and bruce goes to her aid now she needs a blood transfusion but where can he get one so he decides to take things into his own hands and do the transfusion himself So it was successful, and the cops now want to ask him some questions. But now that she is safe in the hospital, uh, Bruce takes off. Now these orderlies are actually criminals, and they want to rub out Jennifer again for good. Of course, she becomes the Hulk for the first time. The She-Hulk, that is. Battle ensues. Guns don't work. Her power is tested. She chases them through the elevators and through the hallways of the hospital. And out the hospital. Going back to where she uh, was recuperating, she turns back into Jennifer Walters. But she now knows the battle has just begun. And the Sega has just started. Great first issue. Alright, so I saw this really cool ad on Facebook, uh, on the She-Hulk Facebook for uh, the hotline. So we're going to call it right now. We're going to call She-Hulk. I hope this works. You know what, let's just use my regular cell phone. Hi, you've reached the Superhuman Law Division at GLKNH. Okay, this time recorded as She-Hulk. What? Yep. Wait, yep. You know they can't see me, right? Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Your call is very important to us. Our associates are unavailable to take your call at this time, but please stay on the line to hear about our services here at GLK and H. Have you been fined for thousands of dollars worth of damage to the city you were trying to protect? Did you accidentally create a sentient robot who got the feels and tried to destroy the world? Maybe you're an Asgardian god who leaves a giant burning imprint on private property every time you arrive on Earth. I know who she's talking about. We've got your back. Our associates at the Superhuman Law Division of GLK and H will fight for your rights to fight for everyone else's rights because that's what superheroing is all about. Wait, what? But don't take my word for it. Here's some testimonials from our satisfied clients. And, and then this is where we'd include the clients, right? Yeah, like with their photo next to them. Once again, phone line. You can't see us. So that about wraps up this video guys, thanks for joining me. So what were your thoughts on the TV series of the first episode? What do you, what would you like to see in the future? 
uh, maybe just in general on Disney Plus concerning Marvel, or what would you like to see later on in the season for She-Hulk? Uh, just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and thanks guys, and I'll be back soon with another video.